with that breaking news, Gaston County leaders this morning announcing they are defying state orders and they're opening businesses tonight. A huge announcement here. They say they don't want to be treated like every other county in the state when they feel they've been ahead of the curve from the start. Gaston County Bureau reporter Ken Lemon was at that announcement this morning and joins us live now. And Ken, leaders pointed out that they had to help business leaders from losing more money. Yeah, and this is that order that it was signed. The chairman of the board commissioners says that he thinks the governor's order would be disastrous and businesses in Gaston County must be able to reopen now. He says even though the governor's order lapses in one week, he thinks that some people may not have a business to return to. I was there as he signed that order from the board of commissioners, allowing most businesses to bypass the governor's order and remain open or reopen, that is, at 5 this evening. evening. That includes sit-down dining, movie theaters, sporting venues, places of worships can reopen with strict social distancing protocols. He said the key is that the county is not placing a strain on hospitals here. And he says none of them in the state are at or near capacity. He says the impact of COVID-19 is not huge in Gaston County. He believes social distancing has worked. And according to him, the county has a moral obligation to act now. We continue to stay at home order. It will not have a good effect for Gaston County and we will not maybe at all have anything to come back to. Now I asked Phil Beck in the case where a police officer sees a violation, which order should they follow, the governor's order or the county's order? Well, uh, Commissioner Phil Beck, the chair of the Board of Commissioners, Phil Beck, he says that they are fundamentally the same because any business deemed not essential now can actually go through an application process despite the restrictions and become recognized as essential. There's still a lot more questions to be asked and answers to get. We're still working on those. We'll have a little bit more for you later on tonight, starting at 5.